This short video shows how to properly program, connect, and operate Nonin Model 7500 Pulse Oximeter with hybrid averaging. Please be sure to read the operator's manual for your Nonin product in addition to watching this video. The Nonin Model 7500 Pulse Oximeter measures oxygen saturation and pulse rate and is compatible with the full line of pure light sensors from Nonin Medical. To ensure an accurate reading, Nonin brand sensors must be used with the pulse oximeter. The Nonin 7500 can be powered by 100 to 240 volt AC wall power. You will see a plug icon in the display when the oximeter is using external power. The oximeter can also function for at least 16 hours on a fully charged battery pack. The battery recharges when plugged in, whether running or in standby mode. Recharging takes about four hours when the battery pack has been depleted. The 16-hour battery life allows for the Nonin 7500 to be used as a portable oximeter when needed, for example, in transit. Additionally, the long battery life provides peace of mind in times of power outages. The low battery indicator will blink when the battery is getting low and stay on continuously when critically low. Recharge the battery as soon as possible. It's recommended to set and check alarm limits and other oximeter settings prior to each patient use. The oximeter comes with a default low alarm setting of 85% SpO2, a low pulse rate of 50 beats per minute, and a high pulse rate of 200 beats per minute. These may be customized in the setup mode explained in the operator's manual. A patient security mode may be set to prevent changes to alarm limits and other functional settings. When the model 7500 is turned on in patient security mode, SEC on is displayed in the display area and three informational tones sound. The upper alarm limits are then displayed, followed by the lower alarm limits. Refer to the operator's manual to learn how to set or cancel patient security mode or reprogram settings. The 7500 is equipped with selectable standard fast averaging or hybrid averaging settings. Standard fast averaging is quick to respond to sudden SpO2 value changes. Hybrid averaging has a slower response to a patient's oxygen desaturation, which minimizes sudden SpO2 value changes due to motion and or other temporary situations. The hybrid averaging setting maintains accuracy while reducing alarms. The default setting of all 7500 models is standard fast averaging. To set your 7500 to hybrid averaging, press the limits button until the display reads HYB. Press the plus or minus button until the screen reads yes. Your device is now set to hybrid averaging mode. To save this setting, press and hold the alarm silence button while briefly pressing the limits button. The hybrid averaging mode setting will save for future use. You will not need to reset it each time you turn the device on. Prepare the sensor and place it on the patient prior to connecting it to the oximeter. Proper sensor placement is critical for accurate readings. Follow the instructions for each sensor type to ensure secure, aligned positioning of the sensor on the finger or skin surface. Connect the sensor to the pulse oximeter by inserting the plug with the Nonin logo facing up into the sensor port on the front of the oximeter as shown here. The connector should fit firmly in the connector port on the oximeter. Press the on-off button to start the unit. The oximeter will run through a power-up initialization as it turns on. Watch to ensure all the LED elements and information appears as shown here. If any LED elements do not appear, or if any of the displays do not appear as expected, power the device off. Wait for 10 seconds and power it back on. If the elements still do not appear correct, remove the unit from use and return it for service or repair. If alarms are enabled, they will remain silent for two minutes at startup to allow time for sensor placement or setting adjustment. Check the oximeter's time settings for accuracy during the startup. 
Reset the oximeter in setup mode if they are not accurate or appear as zeros. After the startup sequence, the oximeter will start displaying and recording SpO2 and pulse rate as soon as the sensor is placed on the patient. The SpO2 level is shown on the left side and the pulse rate on the right side. The pulse strength signal bar in the center indicates the signal quality. Green bars indicate a strong pulse signal. Amber indicates a marginal pulse signal and red indicates a low pulse signal. It's a good idea to check pulse signal quality at startup and adjust the sensor for a stronger reading if necessary. Signal loss from the sensor is possible with hand or body movement or disconnection of the cable. A sensor icon will appear on the screen and the oximeter will alarm if this occurs. Signal can also be reduced by body position or cold conditions, which may reduce blood flow. Check and correct the position of the sensor if it has moved and recheck the sensor connection to the oximeter. Hybrid averaging mode will take these short desaturations into account, reducing the potential of false alarms. Audible and visual alarms can be set to signal if either oxygen saturation or pulse rate go outside the predetermined ranges. Other oximeter functional conditions may also generate an alarm. For high priority alarms, the alarm LED will blink quickly red and a three beep audible signal will repeat every 10 seconds. For medium priority alarms, more often generated by an oximeter or sensor signal conditioner, the LED will blink amber and three beeps will repeat every 25 seconds. You can silence the audible alarm for two minutes by momentarily pressing the alarm silence button. And you can return the audible alarm by momentarily pressing the alarm silence button. When oxygen level or pulse rate return to the preset range, the alarm will stop and return to normal monitoring function. Stored data is retained for the last 70 hours of use and then records over the oldest data in four minute segments. Data can be downloaded and analyzed on Nanan's and Vision software. When you're ready to stop using the oximeter, simply press and hold the on off button until the oximeter turns off. Hold for one second in normal function and five seconds if the oximeter is in patient security mode. Then you can unplug and remove the sensor. With proper use, the Nanan 7500 pulse oximeter will provide consistent, accurate oxygen saturation and pulse rate measurement. You can find additional use information on this and other Nanan products at nanan.com.